CBS Live TV broadcast of its March Madness NCAA Basketball Championship was interrupted for millions of viewers on Sunday with a live news update that Donald Trump did not, nor did members of the Trump campaign conspire or coordinate with the Russian government in its election interference activities, according to a letter Attorney General William Barr sent to Congress Sunday summarizing the findings of special counsel Robert Mueller's report into the 2016 presidential election. For millions of March Madness viewers, the clip below played during the annual basketball extravaganza. In part, the letter from Attorney General Barr reads, "The special counsel's investigation did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with Russia in its efforts to influence the 2016 US presidential election." As the report states, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. The special counsel found that Russian government actors successfully hacked into computers and obtained emails from persons affiliated with the Clinton campaign and Democratic Party organizations and publicly disseminated those materials through various intermediaries, including WikiLeaks. Based on these activities, the special counsel brought criminal charges against a number of Russian military officers for conspiring to hack into computers in the United States for purposes of influencing the election. But as noted above, the special counsel did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in these efforts, despite multiple offers from Russian-affiliated individuals to assist the Trump campaign. The White House said Sunday that the Justice Department issued an exoneration of President Trump. The findings of the Department of Justice are a total and complete exoneration of the President of the United States, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders wrote in a statement.